I'm sure you've heard the popular phrase, leaders eat last, or the idea that to succeed as a leader, you need to put everyone else first. Is this true? My answer may surprise you. Keep watching to get a better view on this often misunderstood concept. At the end, I'll give you a path to powerful leadership that can change the way you approach self-sacrifice. When I look back on my journey as a leader, I would say that in the beginning, I did think it was all about self-sacrifice. I thought, oh, this is like being in service means that I'm bending over backwards, I'm doing all the things. It's kind of like I'm being a martyr, right? And over time, I realized the opposite is actually true. When you're on an airplane, they always tell you to put your oxygen mask on first. That is absolutely the case in leadership. If you aren't taking care of yourself first, it's very difficult to be of service to your entire team. This took me years to figure out, but I can tell you in those years of figuring it out, I got really sick. In fact, there was a time when it seemed like I had shingles all the time. My immune system was really down. And I didn't make the connection that it was because I was, it was because I was, you know, waiting on my team members hand and foot. They absolutely didn't need that, nor did they want that. And I just, it, I just didn't get it in the beginning. Now, part of it is I, you know, when I saw other people modeling leadership, I thought that's how they were living. But what I didn't realize was that behind the scenes, they were actually taking great care of themselves. They were putting themselves first. They weren't super stressed out by the job. They weren't thinking about it all the time like I was, but it took a while to figure that out. As I touched on before, servant leadership and servitude are not the same thing. And that's where I got really stuck because to me, servitude is about it's about doing things for them. Like if you think about, if you're a parent, right? And you think about doing things for your child versus showing them how to do something, it's two different, two very different energies, right? Like if, if I want my child to clean his room, for example, and I go in and I just start doing it, he's gonna be like, that's awesome, mom's gonna do it for me. And that's like servitude, I'm just doing it for him. However, in servant leadership, if I actually show him in our family, this is how we clean our room, and I model it, and maybe I do it with him a couple times until he knows how to do it, now I've taught him, now he can do it on his own, and now I'm serving him as a leader in a completely different way. So even in this moment, as I'm saying this, think about your own leadership style. Is your tendency to do things for your team members that you don't need to do for them? Or it could show up that, you know, you're tired of trying to get them to do it, or it just doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like they know how to do it. It seems like it's faster and easier for you just to do it yourself. That's where you can get really stuck, right? And and team members will become dependent on you. They'll be like, well, you know, my leader just said she would do it, or he's just gonna do it for me. That'll take you down a path of you continuing to wear all the hats in your company. And I'm guess that I'm guessing that's not what you want. The balance is realizing that your team members aren't going to do things perfectly. They're just not. They're going to make mistakes and they're going to get frustrated, but that's how we all learn, right? Like think about all the mistakes that, that you've made over your career. I think about all the mistakes that I've made. That's how I've learned. If we don't give people the opportunity to fail, or as Denzel Washington says, fall forward, they, they don't get to grow. And so every time there's a quote unquote mistake made or something happens, right? Give your team member the opportunity to learn and grow. And in my company, I love to ask our team members, you know, just simply like, what could we do differently next time? Or sometimes there's a system or a process that needs to be fixed. And so we can ask, you know, I'll just ask a team member, like, what could we put in place so this doesn't happen again? That simple question opens up the space for your team member to, to lead, right? To lead in their area, to make those decisions. And the more comfortable they become making those decisions on their own, the easier it is for them to grow in their role, the less you're going to be, be doing in your company. Let me know in the comments below, who was your best boss ever and why? When it comes to leadership and this idea that it's about everyone first, the thing I want you to remember is that your team is watching what you do. They're watching you all the time. And that's why putting yourself first and, and self-care is, is critical because if you're not and you're running around with your hair on fire, right, feeling frustrated or upset, they're gonna think that that's just part of the culture. And they're gonna feel that they have to be, you know, in that kind of hair on, hair's on fire, I have to be rushing around, I have to just, you know, act in this certain way. And pretty soon that becomes your culture. So really ask yourself, like, what, how do I, what do I want our culture, company culture to be like? Do I want it to be this kind of frenzied stress zone? Or do I want it to be a safe place where people can make dis mistakes, people can grow, people can you know, feel comfortable making decisions and you know, running their own department or whatever it is. 
That's what I want you to think about. When it comes to leadership and thinking it's always about everyone else first, the thing to know is that so often as women, we tend to put ourselves last. And this happens, you know, we're conditioned to do this. This happens um, throughout our lives. And unfortunately, as women leaders, we can get into that position where we're still putting ourselves last. And so if you're a woman in business, I want you to be really conscious of this. Like, are you putting yourself last? Now there's a difference, right? Like let's say you're hosting a company event and you want your team members to go through the line first. That's different, right? That's not you putting yourself last. But if there's an opportunity, right? If there's an opportunity to grow your company or if there's an opportunity to, for example, um, get funding for your company or maybe there's an opportunity to um, nominate yourself for an award or have someone else do that for you, a lot of times we'll say, well, maybe that's for other people, or um, I can do that later. Like we will put, our, put ourselves at the bottom of that list. And I just wanna encourage you not to do that. I wanna encourage you to put yourself on the top of that list, right? And to ask for help when you need it. Our male counterparts, gentlemen, if you're listening, you guys are really good at this. You're good at putting yourself first when it comes to self-care, at putting yourself at the top of the list, at making sure that, that as you as a leader are in a position of strength rather than a position of weakness. And now let me practice what I preach and put myself first. Remember to subscribe to my channel. You can hit the subscribe button below. A lot of people ask me like, what's my routine? How do I put myself first? Or how does self-care show up in my, in my life? If I can be at the gym three to five times a week, that's really important for me. I have found that exercise helps me work a lot of things out, right? It helps me work things out that I'm thinking about. It makes me feel better physically, keeps me healthy. And just having it on the calendar is critical. Now, do I always wanna to go to the gym? No, absolutely not. There's some days when I wake up and it's like, I, I don't wanna go. But this is where discipline comes in as well. And this is where discipline as a leader and putting yourself first is really important. So I get up anyway. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to the gym today. Or, you know, or thinking about how you eat, right? One of the things I try to do, I follow the 80-20 rule when it comes to food. 80% of the time I eat really well, 20% of the time, like there's other things that, that I like. Because I find that if you try to do anything 100% with perfection, that can get really stressful. And to me, that rule applies at work as well as in self-care. It's like 80% of the time, you know, do really, really well and have other things in place for that 20%. The other thing that's really important is to have people to talk to. If you don't have a coach or a mentor, that's a position you need to have filled on your team. You need someone supporting you from the outside. You need to have someone to call on during the tough times. I can't tell you how many times where I feel like I've hit a wall and I've had to pick up the phone and just call my coach, right? Or call one of my mentors or call someone that I, someone who's been there or someone who can really see it from a different angle. And I'm also a huge advocate of mental health. I like in our family, we've had a, a history of a lot of depression and anxiety. And so it's something that I keep an eye on all the time for myself. And I know that if I'm not taking care of myself in that way, it's going to overflow into my business in negative ways. So I'm a big proponent of therapy. And I think for a lot of people during COVID, especially when, um, therapy, like people were uh, doing, you know, we could do virtual therapy. We could just stay at home and, you know, jump on Zoom or whatever, uh, whatever tech tool we were jumping on. All of a sudden we normalized therapy in a much bigger way. And since then, I think a lot more people are taking advantage of it. So take the shame out of mental health and all these areas. Like if you're not taking care of you first, it's really hard to be a great leader. Up next, if you aim at nothing, you will hit it every single time. And remember your 2X is waiting for you too.